you know, this uh, this panel B with the mouse. It looks like the mouse is flossing itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got that, that stick there drawn it in. It does, but... the way that it's... Yeah, out. it does. That's so I wonder funny. if you have to anesthetize the, the mice to do this. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could hold their head really you could tightly. Hold them. Yeah, you could I hold really, them. Really, I don't ah. know. I I think I'd want them knocked out to do this. They can be very frisky. Well, so one of the things that I wondered, and I didn't look in the details of this. I mean, when we floss, you put it between the tooth and you go back and forth, right? Or yeah. at least you go in and you pull it out. So, do they put it in there and just let it sit to allow the vaccine that's on the tape to diffuse off and get there or is just putting it in between and then pulling it out is that enough to deliver enough of the material to to generate this vaccine response i mean i i touch my gum when i do that right yeah and go up and down they told me to go up and down on either side yeah. right so in that case if you're doing that with the mouse are you touching the gum how many times you go up and down on either side you know you got to standardize with this there <laughs> there would be a lot of variability in the delivery yeah so so I looked in the um, method section. Um, the mice were anesthetized, mm. um, and um, they actually were not allowed to have food or water mm. um, for uh, an hour after flossing. Mm -hmm. um, also, they bought the floss at CVS. <laughs> <laughs> I love well, that. if they bought it at Fisher, so it would awesome. be 100 bucks a roll, so True. that's good. <laughs> the upcharge out the wazoo. 